Oh, well, how are you? Fine teacher, um, what about you? I'm doing good, good. Yes. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's Thursday, it's, the week is finished. Time for the weekend. <laughs> uh, no, for me because uh, uh, I have to go to the to, to my work this Saturday because I, I I have free day in the Monday. Ah, in this okay. <laughs> and this week it's it's a little different. <laughs> but on Sunday you have you don't work. Uh, no, no. In Monday, I, I, I didn't work. In this day, I have to work in the Saturday. Uh huh. But normally, uh, but Sunday you don't work, right? Oh, no, no, no. Normally, no. no. In Sunday, it, it's free. It's okay. day, off, day off. And Saturday normally is the day off also. Yes, it's 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 my day off too. Okay. Okay. Only this week for the the situation for the they yes for this situation because the the place in uh, where i work it was a centro de votación i don't know how to say it. ah voting center yes voting center that's why yes 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 good evening teacher good evening good everybody good evening good evening yeah, that's that's why you had to go to to work on Saturday for for the voting. Yes. <laughs> okay. What's that change? Yeah, yeah. Now I understand. Okay. Great. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to make our groups, and we're just going to try to practice on our fluency and conversation. We're going to talk about our plans for the weekend. What are you going to do tomorrow? Saturday, Sunday. Uh, you're going to talk about routines. Is this normal? Is not normal? What do you normally do? Uh, we're going to talk about conditionals. What would you like to do? If you could go to the beach or if you could go somewhere, where would you like to go? Okay. So the focus is going to be using our future tenses, not past tenses, not right. We're going to be focused on using future tenses or the present tenses. When do we use the, the present tense? We use the present tense when it's a routine. As an example, I go to church on Saturdays. This is every Saturday. Or I go to church on Sundays. This is every Sunday. If this is a routine, you can use the present tense. But if it's not a routine, we use the future tense. I am going to, like in the case of Joel, I am going to work on Saturday or I'm going to go to work on Saturday. Or in the case of someone else, I am going to go to a party or I'm going to go to a wedding because the wedding is not a routine, right? So those are the difference for using and talking about the future. We use the present tense when it's a routine, when it's a situation every week or every month, okay? And we use the future when it's not a routine. When we use the future, we have two forms. We have going to, right? And the other one is will. When I say I am going to, is because I plan to do this. This is something I have my idea, my agenda, my tickets, whatever. When I say I will, is for is not planned. It's only I imagine, I think, is I'm not sure. So going to is planned and will is not planned. Okay, so we're going to go to our partners only a few minutes and we're going to talk. What are we going to do this weekend? What are our plans? Any questions? Not the chair. All right, oh. let's go.
a teacher. Yeah, what happened? Hello, teacher. Hello. Is playing for this word this night? Ah, to talk about the future plans. Ah, okay. What are you going to do tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday? Okay. Okay. They, and in this case, I have to go to work. I'm, do, do, I'm you, to... do you usually work on Saturdays? No, 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 not usually. But I, I was speaking with the, with the teacher that in this week, because the, in the place where I work um, was a, a center boarding, boarding center. Mm -hmm. in, ah. Boarding center. In, and in this case, uh, I how to say if I have a free day for the Monday and this day I have to go to Re the uh, you have to you have to you have to replace it yes I have to replace it uh, no. is, teacher yes. it, it's, it's okay to say replace it teacher como reponer uh, sort of it, it, the idea is correct but you have to make it up is the correct way they use it in English I'll put it in the chat so it's clear for you. So okay. you have to make okay. it up. And you can change mm. the it. Make it up. Uh, you have to make the class up. You have to make the work up, whatever. But the it is the, the word that you can change. But make up, no. ¿Qué significa uh, make it up, teacher, en ese caso? Reponerlo. Reponerlo, make no. it up. Ah, make, make it, it up. up. It's new word. No, sería un, phrase, un phrasal verb, ¿verdad, teacher? Correct. That is correct, Nuria. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Make it up. Okay, thank you, teacher. And what about you, Denise? Hello. I'm sorry. I recently no. connected with uh, to session group. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. We have to answer uh, the questions with, with the future using will and going. Right, teacher? That is correct. Okay, what are you going to do this weekend, Dennis? Uh, uh, well, maybe I, I'm going to, um, I'm going to visit uh, to my mom. Okay. Oh, I will go. Um, I will go to uh, to visit to my mom. Yes, Dennis. You, visit to my yes, yes. You, but you cannot use two different grammar tenses. So you have to make the decision. I will visit my mom, yeah. or I am going to visit my mom. Now, when speaking, is the same idea, but in grammar is not the same idea. Mm -hmm. In grammar, I am going to is you plan. This is you are organizing. Okay. I will is you don't know. Uh, you uh, maybe yes, maybe no, you have no idea. But when you say I'm going to, this is because this is your objective or your plan. Oh, okay. In this case, okay. teacher, when, when Dennis say maybe I'm going to, is not correct because in, exactly. at the beginning he said maybe. Exactly. That is how you know if it's correct or not. Because oh, if, okay. he, if, he, if he says maybe, then it's I will. If he doesn't okay. say maybe, then it's I am going to. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Somebody would you? I, I'm not good at cooking. Um, what I do in the weekend is running. I like to run, so... <laughs> Being there, I go out to run because there's a lot of nature there. It's kind of like a forest. So I like the nature. I like going outside to run. Yeah. That's all. Okay. Nice, nice plans for the weekend for Joel. What about, um, who else is in here? Monica Solorzano. What about you, Monica? Hi, everyone. Well, <laughs> I have a really boring weekend. <laughs> uh, so because I work on, uh, on those days. 
So my Saturdays and Sundays are all about just go to my work, my workplace. Yes, since eight, eight o'clock in the morning until five o'clock in the afternoon. And then go back to my home and just relax the rest of the time, the rest of the day. Okay, okay. A busy day. Busy day. Yeah, yeah, I'm having a really busy week. And oh, finally, Jesse, what do you do in the weekend? Okay. Well, I am not sure, but I think that this week I will visit my brother and nephews uh, in the morning. And the rest of the day, I will cook for my family. I will clean my house. No, I, I am going to clean my house because it's sure. <laughs> Uh, at night, maybe I will study a little more in platform, I hope. <laughs> and well, on Sunday morning, I will get up. No, I am going to get up because it's sure. <laughs> I am going to get up late. I will prepare the dinner if my husband wants. If not, I am going to eat something out, go out. And the rest of the day, I we no, I am going to stay in my home, watch. Okay, pretty good. I heard most of you in the groups. Um, you are had a chance to speak just to make sure that we understand the ideas and we don't get confused. Going to is when you plan to do it. It's like 95% that yes, this is what you are going to do or this is what you have in mind. Will, on the other hand, is like a 50%. You don't know, you are unsure of the situation. And in that case, you use the word will. It's okay, the difference between going to and will Yes, teacher. It's For okay. me, it's clear, teacher. Thank you. Okay. All right. Making sure. So now we're going to continue on with today's topic and today's grammar. Today's grammar is going to be using the present perfect. Um, we're going to watch a little video of how to use it and see it in context. This is where we use, it's in the WhatsApp group. These are the pictures that I sent you in the WhatsApp group for the conversation. Of, and then um, we're going to watch it here, but also so, because I know some of you um, use the WhatsApp, in there you can see in the conversation is the first picture, okay? What have you been doing? So if you are going to see here, if not, if, if it's too small, sometimes it's better in the, in the telephone because you can make the picture bigger. Okay, but it's the same conversation. I'm pursuing a full-time model. Hello, this time we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. 
listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Okay, so we can see how we're using this context. And we can see that in the conversation, they are using the idea for the questions. And the questions are with have, okay? So what have you been doing? What have you been up to? Uh, this is the idea of have is that the action started in the past and talks about now, okay? This is have. And we can see that we use the have uh, the same way that we use any other form. It has a specific structure. So we can use I have been, and then we're going to use the verb with ing. Any verb that you want, but we're going to be an ing, okay? If it's negative, you can use the form that I haven't been, okay? And the same thing, always with the verb with ing. Okay, so I have been, for example, I have been working at Banco Agricola. I started in the past and today I continue to work in Banco Agricola. Or I haven't been studying English. I didn't study and even today I am not studying. Okay, that is the idea for I've been or I haven't been. So when the person says, hey, what have you been up to or what have you been doing or what have you been working on this is from the time that i saw you before to now usually we talk about this or we use this structure when it's somebody that you didn't see maybe for a month or or more right because if i saw joel yesterday i don't ask joel what have you been doing i is only yesterday is not a lot of activities i ask joel what did you do today what where did you go but if I haven't seen, ah, then Joel understands. It's not for yesterday. It's from the last time that I saw him to now. And in this time, I am asking him all of the activities. That's the idea of what have you been doing? Is that okay? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Now, we're going to watch um, another video just to make sure that it's clear before we actually practice. So we're going to watch a video where we can see the grammar structures and make sure that it's clear for us. try that one more time. Something is wrong with the video. Just a second. Hi, we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of his statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. 
Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for a continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of this tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now? Okay. So... What are we going to do? We've been looking a little bit at the grammar structure and it's like I explained, it's the idea of how and when we use it. So we're going to do a couple of things. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to practice the conversation. This conversation is 2.6, okay? So with our partners, we're going to practice our conversation. If you do not have the, conver if you do not have the computer, you can check the WhatsApp. In the WhatsApp is going to be this same conversation, is this one. This is the first picture that I sent. So we are going to practice this conversation. One time Pete, one time Gina, okay? So Pete and Gina, and then Gina and Pete. That is the idea with our partners. The second activity is you are going to imagine you are one of those people in the party and you are continuing the conversation. So you and your partners, Continue making and uh, your own questions and answering your own the partner's questions. Okay, so you're going to say, for example, "Hey, uh, Joel, where, where have you been uh, working, or what have you been doing, or whatever it is," and then Joel is going to answer using that structure. Now, how is the structure? If you don't remember, you can check in the WhatsApp, or you can go to 2.8. In 2.8 is this structure. This is the structure that we use. I have been an ing. Or if it's negative, I haven't been, I have not been, and the ing. Okay? So one more time. Practice the conversation, then create your own conversation. Those are the two activities we're going to do in this moment. Is that okay? Any questions? or if something is not clear from the grammar? Uh, no, no problem, teacher, it's great. Okay, for Joel, it's okay. Anybody else? Yes, okay, teacher. All right, let's make our groups, practice okay. the conversation, and then create your own conversation. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello, Monica. Hi. I guess it's just the two of us. So, um, well, I'll go first. I'll be Pete. Or do you want to be Pete? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I, I've been working to job for the last six months. How come? How? How come? 
I am saving uh, money for a trip to Morocco. Morocco. Well, well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've been, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. I had been, um, I had been working for three months. I had been exciting. And no, I had been tired. I had been tired for my job. Um, wait, which part are you, are you reading? No, Gina, you're nothing exciting. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Nothing exciting. Es que aquí dice nada, nothing exciting. I have been working, but, pero este, yes, yes. Me, eh, lo mismo puede ser, oh, I have been waiting. <laughs> I have been waiting for you for, for two hours in the, uh, in, in the place. Well, I've only been spending money and pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Science aggregate, but I have been grading any work. I need a job soon. A job soon. I almost out of money. Okay. Teacher, are yes. you there? I, I would like to ask something to the our teacher, but I can see him right now. Okay. <laughs> yes. do, you, do you know what that means? How come? Como vino. Ah, how come? Como vino. I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Okay. Well, okay. Now change. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. Teacher, our teacher, teacher. Is over there. could you could you uh, tell how is the pronunciation? How, how do you pronounce pursuing? That is correct. It's pronounced pursuing. Pursuing. ¿Qué significa, teacher? Persiguiendo. Uh, I'm pursuing. Mm -hmm. I'm pursuing a fault. Okay. Person. I forget. I'm going to begin again. Okay. Carla, pursuing. okay. Pursuing. Hey, hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco's. Teacher, I'm saving up. What does it mean, saving up? It means that you are having the money, you, you need to accumulate the money. Ah, o sea, como saving. In the bank, save, saving up in the bank, or oh, this other part? No, no, it's the same, saving up in the bank or in your house, but the same is the same meaning, uh, to save money. O sea, teacher, si yo quiero decir, estoy guardando dinero, Mm -hmm. Tengo que decir saving up, no puedo decir solo saving money. No, you can say this, the two things. Uh, I'm it's saving the same two phrase. It's the same, exactly. Okay, well, that's, ex that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Okay, teacher. Um, how did you do it? How did you do it? Uh, no. How we, how we did it? I think most of it was pretty good. Um, I, I would think that now is a good opportunity to practice and create your own conversation and see how you do fluently without the, without the reading, only speaking with your own ideas and your own questions. Okay, sincerely teacher, 
I like this practice for conversation and the more vocabulary and comprehend the English and learn English, but now more conversation for me. Oh, uh, um, como me hace falta más vocabulario. Yeah. Me quedo como callada. No Le more. puedo entender, <laughs> puedo escuchar y leer, pero cuando voy a hacer una conversación, sí, me quedo como sí, en blanco. Y por eso me gusta hacer ejercicios como para hablar bastante. It's normal, Carla. It, it happened that. But it's for that reason that we are here talking, practice yes. to improve our, our to fluency. Yes. Go ahead. This now, is more now you fluency. you create your own. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Tell me. Yeah. Okay. Have you been saving money? Um, yes, I have been saving uh, uh, a bit of money because I am I'm going to, to think in be a in I, I don't know teacher how to say a uh, poner a un negocio. Uh, start a business. Ah, okay, okay. Um, yes, in this case, yes, I have been saving uh, a, a bit money to start a business. Uh, what about you, uh, Rodrigo? Have you been saving money? Yes, I have been saving some money. I want to buy a new laptop. Ah, that's yes. good. Yes. Uh, yes. For the, I guess for the, on the, the online class. Yes, correct. Ah, that's good. Yes. Okay. Okay. What more? Okay, do you guys have any questions? Um, no teacher, by the moment, no. Uh, only in the, I, the, in the practice. <laughs> yes, uh, we need, in we this need moment, the... you are going to practice. Who, who was your partner? Uh, Rodrigo. Okay. Rodrigo. All right, Joel and Rodrigo, please present your conversation. Well, we were, I was speaking, we were speaking about how, what have you been doing lately? I asked to Joel. Uh, are, you, are you asking me, Rodrigo? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, uh, I was distracted. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I am sure. I am sure, that, uh, Rodrigo, that um, I have been working, and then I have been studying some uh, course in, in line. Okay. So to make it to make you feel more comfortable, don't worry. Only imagine that you are beginning the conversation. Rodrigo asks you the question, and then you answer. You and Rodrigo are just having a, a dialogue. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, DJ. Um, Rodrigo, uh, uh, Rodrigo, what have you been doing lately? I I have been doing some some math exercises lately. Ah, uh, uh, that's good. Um, I, how long have you been doing this exercise, this math exercise? I've been doing it for three three hours. Yes. Oh, that's, that's good. Um, yes, today. Okay. Um, this teacher, 
that's it. Okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wherever you feel. The important is that I, I want to hear that you are using the structures correctly. And that is correct. Good job. All right. Oh, okay, Perfect. Thank you. Jesse, who was your partner? My partner was uh, Joel Pastran, I think. Okay, then Jesse and Joel, go for it. Okay. Hi, Joel. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, for for to be a, a girl, I need to start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ladies first. Ladies first. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Joel, have we, uh, how many hours have you been doing exercise uh, today? Well, I have been exercising uh, for about two hours. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another. Mm, have you been waiting? Have you been waiting for? long time uh, your friends for a party in your home? Uh, well, I haven't been waiting a long time for, for them to come. Okay. Yes, and uh, uh, what have you been doing? Tell me. Uh, Tell us. Okay. I have been doing... No, I have been... Uh, I have been cleaning my house. I have been painting my house, painting my house, and I have been working on platform for two hours in the afternoon. Okay. Have you been have you been uh, running lately? Have you been walking? Yes, I have been walking for one hour from my home to the Spencer Don Juan in the morning. Oh, okay. That's great. Okay. And that's it, teacher. Very good. Uh, the only mistake, Jesse, I put in the chat so that you can see that the idea was correct, but the, the order was incorrect of the words. But in the chat, you can see what is the correct form, okay? All right. Uh, Carla, who was your partner? My partner is Nuria. Okay, Carla and Nuri. Okay, um, practice, practice for Nuria for the conversation. Uh, a little bit uh, practice for the conversation for Craig uh, for this. Um, Nuria helped me for a score for the question. Um, in mistake for to say this um, uh, practice for Nuria. Um, Nuria, hello. Hello, Carla. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Carrie. I haven't heard you. I haven't. I haven't heard you. Sería teacher. Hearing you. I haven't heard you. I haven't heard you. I haven't. Okay. I haven't heard you. And since the last class, what have you been doing? Have uh, you been um, um, practice practicing Seria in for ING or how to practice, um, teacher? You go ahead, Carla. Uh, and, okay. And, and do what you think is correct, but it is always with been is with ing so all of the verbs are going to be with ing with uh had you learning for the other form for the continue work in in the future or a uh, have you been on uh, ing noria i'm sorry Okay, Carla, I, I, I don't, I, I'm not clear what you are, are asking or, or saying, because Nuria asked you, what have you been, uh, what have you been doing since the last class or since the last time? The teacher um, displayed it for Nuria for 
and learning for the last class. Uh huh. So okay. So maybe the confusion is when you use the word you. Is remember is I. I have been because oh, okay. Nuria, uh, because Nuria asked you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Repeat right. <laughs> Once of, course, a... of, of, of course, Carla. Uh, uh, what have you been doing since the last class? Because I, I, I ask you, I haven't heard you. The last, I haven't heard you. It's for that reason that I, that I ask you, what have you been doing since the last class? I have, uh, I have, I have been, okay, have been in the last class for um, uh, learning. I have, I have been the last class, learning in the last class, <laughs> and they explain for, uh, hope juice for the helping and ing. Okay, okay, I got it, Carla. All right, I, I see. Uh, is that you are confusing the order of the sentence in the chat? I put so take a look in the chat. This is the correct order. I have been learning, I have been studying, I have been what whatever you want, but it's with ing, and then you have the time. So it's going to be the action or the activity. And then at the end is where you're going to put the time or the complement. So if Nuria asked me, I'm going to say, for example, I have been um, doing exercises with my friends or I have been uh, walking uh, in the park with my wife. Um, and this is where you have the complements. So you put the action, then the complement, and then you can put the time. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. No problem. The important is that we are practicing, and that's why we're here to to see the mistakes and correct them and improve for the next time. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Good job, Carla Noria. Good. All right, Dennis. I think it's your partner was Monica then, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. There you go. Benny? Hi, Monica. Hey, what have you been doing lately? I, I've been working uh, for the last years. Okay. Um, how long have you been working? Uh, you said you are, uh, um, I don't know, the other part, developer. Uh, I can't software, remember. The software, developer. <laughs> software developer. Software yeah, developer. Developer. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Thank um, you. Yeah. Have you I, been I, I, how long I, have you been working as yeah, a yeah, yeah, software yes. developer? Okay. How long? Uh, I've been uh, coding since I graduated of the university. Can you repeat, please? I I lost my audio for a second. Okay, no problem. I've been uh, i been calling since I graduate uh, for the university. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And yeah. How long is uh, that? It's uh, uh, how long? Uh, 2006 and 2020 uh, is for, for 14 years old. Okay, that's a lot of years. And um, yes. I've been working the last two months to um, just in a really different uh, industry 
Okay. And sugar, sugar industry. Yeah. Yeah. How long how long have you been uh, in working in in sugar industry? The last two months. I've been working in the sugar industry for the last two months. Since the two, last two months? Yeah, since. Oh, yes. Okay, very nice. Um okay. It, it has been a really good experience. A really interesting one. Nice. Good for you. Okay. That's all the time. <laughs> no problem, no problem. I see you were trying to trying to figure out what to say. Don't worry, it's okay. Um, just a couple of, of mistakes. It is uh, the, the pronunciation of the words in the past, Dennis, is since I graduated, since I graduated. graduated. Okay. Yes, yes. And the other mistake was the 14 years old is not correct. That is only correct for the age. Okay. For how old are you? So here is uh, 14 years. I have been coding for 14 years. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. All right. So good job uh, overall for everybody. I, if you can see, everybody makes mistakes. So don't worry. Everybody, we are together in the class. It's not only, I, I, I always make the mistake. No, listen, everyone has mistakes. It's okay. But that is the I, objective. The objective is to identify your mistakes and correct them. So the next time is not the same mistakes. It's new mistakes. <laughs> that way we get better and better. All right, before we continue with our final activity for today's class, are there any questions, any um, the structure or how to make these? Are there any questions in this moment? I don't have any question, teacher. Me too, teacher. I don't have any question, teacher. Okay, okay, great. Well, then in that case, we're going to go on to our final activity for today. Um, this is the activity for reading. We're going to we're going to read together to make sure that it's clear. Okay, here. Uh, let me see. Can you see the page? Is that okay? Yes, yes teacher. Yeah, okay. So as you can see, we are looking at the topic child prodigies child prodigies what do you think is this word this the meaning of this a prodigy i don't have idea okay jesse no idea what um in, in spanish and uh, niños prodigios okay what does that mean what 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 is that concept uh the the child that um born with a with a some class of with, with a some kind of uh, skills okay very good well, let's get get the idea that, that it's with a skill or a talent or an ability but something is more than normal right well that is the yes. idea more it's, intelligent yes. than normal but in some of them it's intelligence in others is the ability for example for maybe for music, maybe for art, maybe for uh, for memory. Others is sometimes there are children that are very intelligent for creating things. They are very, they, ha they are prodigy for constructions, for building. So these are the idea for prodigies. I need three people to read. Each person is going to read one column. Who would like to begin reading where it says other musicians? Who would like to begin reading? Me, teacher. Okay, please read. Other musicians have described Sarah Chan as the most wonderful, perfect violinist. They've ever heard, they, they've ever heard. What makes this praise especially surprising is, Sarah, is Sarah's age. Oh, I can read it, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. No She's, problem. Okay, she's only in her 20s. Mm -hmm. Okay, they say 20s, yeah. 20s, and people have been describing her this way since she was a child. On Sarah's fourth birthday, 
Her father gave he, gave her a violin. By age five, she was accepted at the famous Juilliard School of Music in New York, in New York City. By eight, she was performing as a violin sol. ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra, teacher? Soloist. Soloist. Sol as a violin soloist with major orchestra. Since then, Sarah has performed around the world and recorded many albums. Thank you very much. Are there any words you don't know? Let me see, teacher. Pra pra praise, what makes the praise, <laughs> praise especially? The praise are similar for congratulations or when the people speak good things about you. These are praise. What makes this praise especially surprising in Sarah's age? ¿Cómo se entendería esa oración, teacher? It's like what makes these congratulations. No, no entiendo, teacher. En español, ¿cómo sería esa oración completa? What makes this praise especially surprising in Sarah's age? What is congratulations in Spanish? Felicitaciones. Okay. ¿Cómo quedaría la oración? What makes this phrase? ¿Qué hizo esta felicitación especialmente? No, no, no. Surprising in Sarah's age. No, no comprendo, teacher. Huh? Estas felicitaciones hicieron que Sara, estas felicitaciones especiales sorprendieron, hicieron que Sara se sorprendiera. Ok, ok. No, oh, no lo que sorprende no, pero... especialmente. Uh -huh. que lo que sorprende especialmente es la edad de Sara. Ok, casi. ¿Qué? Es una pregunta, what, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hace esto? Estas felicitaciones especial, eh, especialmente sorprendente es la edad de Sara. Carla, ¿es okay. that okay, is that okay or, or no? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh, I got it. What makes this phrase especially surprising in Sara's age? Uh -huh. It's a question. What makes que hizo? Que hace. Makes. Que hace. Mm -hmm. What makes que hace esta felicitación? Correct. Especialmente sorprendente en la edad de Sara. Mm -hmm. okay. es, la, es la edad de Sara. Mm -hmm. Carla, it's okay or no? It's okay, teacher. I comprend that for this. Okay. Teacher. Yes. How did you pronounce the word or or orchestra or orchestra? Orchestra. Orque? Orchestra. Or, uh, with a uh, stra. Stra. Orchestra. So it's orchestra. Sure. Mm -hmm. With the stress in the in the O. Correct. Mm -hmm. Any other words? In performing around or perform around? Performed is a verb, has performed around the world. All right, who would like to read the second column before? Me, teacher. Please. Before Michael Kernan was born, the doctor warned his parents that he might have learning difficulties. He had been proving the wrong ever sign. By the time he was four months old, Michael could say full sentences like, what for dinner mom? Be 10 months. He could read words. A student at home with the parents, Michael completed four grade levels. 
catch gear. Uh, ten, he graduated for college with honor and R. Fourteen, he received a master degree. Not in his late teens, his teaching and working of this PhD. PH. PhD. Mm -hmm. Good. Are there any words you don't know? No? Okay. And I don't know. No? All right. Who would like to read the last one? Me, teacher. Okay, when Alexandra Nechita was two, her parents gave her some crayons and coloring books. Alexandra was soon working in inks, watercolors, and by the time she was seven, oil paints. At eight, Alexandra had her first art exhibit. exhibit. Now, a young, now a young adult, Alexandra is one of the most recognized artists in the world. Her paintings are often compared to those of Picasso and other great artists. They have sold for as much as 18,000. She has been on TV many times and several books of her of, and several books of her paintings have been published. Thank you. Only the word that is for the number is 80, 80,000. Oh, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Are there any words you don't know? Um, I have troubles with the pronunciation of some, of some um, like, uh, I have lost them. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, it was in there in the other paragraph, uh, in okay. the Michael Kearney history. Okay. Sorry. Uh, difficulties, where where do you put the stress in, the, in that word? Yeah. Difficult difficulties or difficulties? Difficulties, fee, difficulties. Okay. And... Teacher, I'm sorry, teacher. I'm sorry, Monica. I would like to ask, teacher, how do you translate He's been proving them grown ever since, ever since by the time he, by the time he was four months old. How do you translate this statement, teacher? Is that that when you prove them wrong? Exactly, is when you make that you show them that it's not they are not right. So he's they, been proving them. Él está probándoles a ellos. No, proving not. Yeah, well, kind of, eh, na, na, eh, com, eh, comprobándolas. He's proven uh -huh. wrong ever since by that time he was four months old. Oh. Uh -huh. Teacher? Yes? I have a question, the last part. Okay. And the part four, one, two, three, four, five. What does means the word ink in inks? The ink, the the ink, ink is the word that is the liquid that you use, like in the pen, in beak, in tattoos. This is the material, it's called ink. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? Okay, well, great. So the idea is uh, we are going to pause there, but for Monday, you should be complete with unit one and two. Today we finished 2.10, the reading, but we didn't do the exercises. So for homework, remember to complete 2.9 and 2.10. 2.9 is what we practiced today about the present perfect. And 2.10 is 
questions about this reading. Okay, those are the two exercises you need to complete for Monday. And Monday we begin lesson three. Okay, okay teacher, thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank you guys. Okay, teacher. Have a good okay. night. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye. 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 Bye.